All right, so let's talk about some of the pressures of cooking for the family, and it can be overwhelming day in, day out. Yeah. What are we having for dinner, right? <sighs> well, wouldn't it be nice to have a professional chef come to your kitchen to offer some tips and some hacks? Yeah, that's exactly what we did when Chef Ted Pulfelt stopped by my real life kitchen in my house to show me the way. Take a look. I'm Chef Ted, these are my kitchen hacks. Okay, we are here in my real life kitchen, and what are we doing this time? We're gonna talk about pickling. You can pickle that. Onion. <laughs> Especially <laughs> onions, yeah. Okay. You can pickle that. So we're gonna start with a red onion. Um, I was, we go through this at the school and teach about uh, how to make quick pickles and how to get different textures. So okay. I like onions, and I do this at home a lot because I love pickled onions. I think it has a good I do too, I love flavor. pickled red onions. So first thing, we gotta decide how we wanna cut it. You can cut it this way, but then to me it looks like a fingernail, and I don't like that, so I always like mm -mm. to go this way. Yeah. Um, so we'll go across. So we've got our onion. Okay. All right, in the meantime, we need to make our pickling liquid. So. We're gonna start, I've got some, this is rice wine vinegar. Usually, honestly, I use apple cider vinegar, but you can use white vinegar, you can use yeah. red wine vinegar, you can use whatever you have lying around the house. I wouldn't recommend balsamic because it's a little heavy, but. Some sort of vinegar. Some sort of vinegar. So okay. we'll start with vinegar, and then we usually want a little bit of sugar, because we gotta have that balance of acid and sweetness. Mm -hmm. I usually throw a couple bay leaves and peppercorns in there. Oh, now that's something I don't do. Oh, ah, okay, a little yeah. bit of salt. We need to put this on the stove. Now, depending on what you're pickling, this is where you can apply it to anything. Since onions are real fragile and we're not worried about them breaking down the structure or anything, yeah. um, we're gonna add our cold liquid over the onions. But if we were gonna pickle some beets or some kind of hard root vegetable that um, needed to be cooked, we could throw it right in this liquid and heat it up on the stove with it. So just food for thought, just depends okay. on what you kinda wanna end up with. So let's get this on the stove and melt this first. All right, so you can see now, it's totally dissolved. We don't have any sugar or salt in the bottom there, so we're ready to pickle. If you want these to be a little um, not as crunchy, you could add this right to this warm liquid and let them sit, mm -hmm. which we'll do for a second while we're sitting here talking. Okay. And so this will help break down some of those fibers, but if you want to crunch your pickle, we need to cool this liquid down. A I lot. do like the crunch. Yeah. So a lot of recipes will tell you to you heat this, put it in your fridge, wait for two hours so it cools down. I don't know about you, I don't have that kind of patience right. at all. So a neat little trick you can do is substitute your water in the recipe for ice. So you okay, so where that. you would typically add water. Yeah. So instead of adding water on the stove, which is what a lot of recipes yeah. are saying, just pull that water out in the form of ice and after you heat it up. And then it's cooling it down with the ice and it's diluting that vinegar liquid so it's not straight acid. Yeah. As much as I love vinegar, you have. Yeah. It's not good for your stomach. There's that whole pH balance level in all that stuff. So. As you can see the ice melting. Yeah. And once that's, once that's chilled, I'd say check for taste. Make sure you've got the right amount of sugar in there that you like, right amount of salt that you like. Yeah. And you're good to go. It can be anything. And so the same base, any vinegar. Instead of sugar, you could use honey, you could use agave, molasses, brown sugar. I mean, it's just it's the technique. Same sort of things. Absolutely. All right, pickled onions. It's that easy. It's that easy. I've never done it, and I love pickled vegetables. Pickled onions, I had made that before. Yeah. He made it a little bit different than yeah. what I've seen before, but I'm telling you. Pickle everything. Thank you, Chef Ted. Yeah, and he's going to be joining me in my kitchen a few more times with more kitchen hacks. But if you really want to learn how to cook like a pro, you need to check out the Al Pollard Culinary Arts Program at Virginia Western. They have a brand new facility mm -hmm. coming, and they're going to have state-of-the-art kitchens. So go over to their website. Yeah, it's the place to be for sure. All right.